Well, since I'm approaching the first year of my LEGO collection career, I figured it was time to go ahead and make a video covering all of my LEGO Marvel minifigures. So that's what we're going to go ahead and look at today. There's just over 100 minifigs here, uh, as well as 10 custom minifigs. I'm very excited to show you guys uh, today in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Up first, we have Captain America there on the left. He's holding Molnir and the War Torn Shield because that's the way it currently is. I went ahead and gave him the arms and legs from the Captain Carter. I had an extra one of those, so I did upgrade him there, and he looks fantastic. Next to him, we have Sam Wilson as Captain America or the Falcon. I think that's a great minifig. Love the arm and legs on that, uh, and I went ahead and gave him some pistols. Next we have Captain Carter from the Marvel CMF series 2021, that's fantastic, as well as the Winter Soldier, and I went ahead and gave him a bigger gun than he came with. Up next I have Nick Fury, Black Widow, Hawkeye, who I would love to improve in 2022, and Ant-Man, as well as the micro version of Ant-Man there as well. Next we're going to take a look at the Iron Man and AI minifigs that I have here. Starting on the left, we have the Iron Man Mark II, which is just basically the unpainted Iron Man suit. Then we have the White Vision. It's the only Vision minifig that I have. I would like to get a red and green one next year. In the back, in the middle there, is my favorite minifig that I have, and that's Iron Man. I've basically mashed up a few different Iron Man minifigs to create one just amazing minifig, in my opinion. Love the shield there. And going down on the right, we have Blazer and Taser. Up next we have the current version of Wong and Doctor Strange. I think those minifigs look great, but we're going to get some upgrades in 2022, I hope. As well as T'Challa Star-Lord and T'Challa as Black Panther. Up next we've got a few Marvel Knights, starting on the left with Hannibal King. That's a custom minifig with a shotgun and sword. You can see Blade there from the 2021 Daily Bugle, and I did swap out his legs. There's Black Cat and then also the Ghost Rider minifig that I have currently. Continuing with the Marvel Knights theme, on the left here we have Werewolf, which is basically just the werewolf from the bandmates. Uh, I do plan on improving that in 2022. I want to see what I can do as far as brown. Uh, next to him, I have a custom Morbius minifig. That's going to be exciting to see if we get an actual minifig in 2022. And then Punisher, who is carrying a sniper rifle on his back, as well as two assault rifles in either hand. Or no real Marvel Defender set, so I had to do what I had to do. On the left there is Jessica Jones, a custom minifig. Uh, I love the way that that turned out. The only thing that I don't like about this minifig is the yellow chest right there. But uh, you can only do so much, so maybe I'll find a new torso piece next year. I have Luke Cage there, and he is carrying a chain. I love that. I do want to get the Power Man minifig as well. That way I can have both versions of Luke Cage. Next to him, we have Elektra. That's a custom minifig as well. Love the way that she turned out, again, with the yellow print there on the chest. Uh, I think I've got some ideas to improve uh, this minifig in 2022 as well. And then on the far right is the Daredevil from the 2021 Daily Bugle uh, with some modifications. I went ahead and swapped out his legs for Santa's legs from the Santa sleigh uh, so that he has black boots. And then I went ahead and put black gloves on him. It's a little bit more accurate, and I love the way that it looks. Moving on to Guardians of the Galaxy, I just finished the set, so I finally have all of the characters. We picked up Gamora and some Marvel Studios CMF minifig packs uh, that Kaylin found at the Dollar General here in town. So I have Gamora there on the left, then Star-Lord from the 2021 Guardianship, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot as well from the Guardianship in 2021. Continuing with the Guardians of the Galaxy, we have Mantis on the left there. Drax, who I had to pick up because he did not come in the 2021 Guardianship. I would love to go ahead and get the actual Drax legs for him. That would be a great upgrade for 2022 because I did pick this minifig up off of Amazon. Uh, it was a great price and I got most of the minifig. I just need the legs now. On the far right is Monica Rambeau as Spectrum. I did do some upgrades to her. Uh, I added a white cape from an extra white vision that I had. And then I went ahead and swapped out Black Cat's legs for just full black legs. And went ahead and put her legs on Monica Rambeau. And I think that minifig actually looks like a superhero now. Starting on the left, I have the current version of Thor. And he's carrying Stormbreaker as well as Molnir. Love that minifig. Would love to see some leg printing, but that fig is amazing. Then in the middle, of course, is one of my favorite minifigs. Don't like the character, but love the minifig. That is Captain Marvel. Love that helmet piece on her there. And then finally on the right, I did go ahead and add Throg. That is from the 2021 Marvel Studios CMF minifig pack that came with the Loki from the TVA. Up next, I did manage to get all 10 of the Eternals. So we have Ajax, 
Icarus, Thena, Gilgamesh, Kingo, and Makari on the left there. Then on the right we have Cersei, Sprite, Fastos, and Druig. Up next we're going to jump into the Spider-Verse. So starting on the left is the newest version of the Spider-Man uniform and that is the integrated suit there, the black and gold, love that. And we have a couple different Spider-Man suits, one with a lot more blue and then one with some arm print and dual molded legs. And then we have the Stark Tech black and gold Spider-Man uniform right there on the right. Up next we have some Spidey friends from the Multiverse. So we have Gwen Spider or Ghost Spider there on the left. We have Miles Morales with the hoodie. I would love to get a Miles Morales without the hoodie. And then we have Spider Ham. You know the saying, a spider pig can do whatever a spider does. And then we also have the Spider-Man Noir from the 2021 Daily Bugle. It happens to be one of my favorite minifigs. And I have four custom versions of Spider-Mans from the multiverse as well. Starting on the left there is Spider-Man India. He has a lot more of a martial arts vibe, so that's how he looks there. Next to him we have the spider. Love that. We got a spider on his back. I love the black uniform that he's got there. Next to him is my custom Scarlet Spider. I know they do actually have a Lego uh, Scarlet Spider. Uh, maybe I'll buy that torso in 2022, but I think this custom minifig is fantastic the way that it is. And then on the far right is Wolf Spider, who happens to be one of the strongest versions of Spider-Man. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some X-Men. Starting on the left, we have Wolverine, then Cyclops, then we have Hank Pym as Giant Man. And finally on the right there is Storm. Next, I have a custom Professor X. I would love to improve on this minifig in 2022 as well, but so far, I think he looks pretty good. Next to him is Magneto. Then we have Firestar from the 2021 Daily Bugle. And then finally, a mashup of a couple different Scarlet Witches to create what I think is a really great looking Scarlet Witch. Now that we've taken a look at all of the superheroes in my collection, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the supervillains or just villains. Starting on the left is Dr. Octopus. Then we have Sandman. I do have a couple different versions of Sandman. There we have Green Goblin. And then on the right is Vulture. Here we have a few more crazies. We have Carnage, Mysterio, and also Venom. Love those two minifigs. Here we have Crossbones, Red Skull, and then I have a few AIM agents there as well. I would love to get some Hydra agents also. Here I have four different versions of Loki, which is pretty funny, honestly. There's Sylvie. There's Loki from the TVA, the variant version from the TVA. There's Loki as what would be king, and then there's also Alligator Loki there. And then finally to finish strong, we have a couple of Shatari in a big fig Thanos with a full infinity gauntlet, all six stones in there, uh, as well as he has the two blades on his back. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and don't forget to like the video. And if you guys want to see more LEGO content, feel free to subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this video specifically about the Marvel minifigs, I'm going to be doing a massive scene in the city, including probably all of these minifigs. I'm not sure whether it will be in steps or if we're just going to do one giant scene like we've done previously, just a little bit better and updated with all of the minifigs that we've got this year. We had a great year of LEGO collecting and I do hope to improve on this collection, increase the size of this collection in 2022. There are some great minifigs that I would like to add that are on my list as well as some that I currently have on the way. Thank you guys for watching the video. As always, I hope to see you on the next one. Have a good day.